Okay, I have a GE stove. It's gas. It's got a bad igniter. And the reason I know it has a bad igniter because... Alright. I've already done this, but take this out. Bottom pan. Okay. Now you can see the igniter is right there. And normally what happens uh, with these newer stoves, they have safety features. What'll happen, that'll get hot. It'll glow hot. Like, and once it starts getting real hot, it only takes a couple seconds. You know, you turn the stove on, you hear a click, that thing starts getting hot. And once it gets hot, it opens up a valve and then the valve lets the gas through the line. So there's no gas gonna go through this line. Okay, I've already unscrewed it. It's a bolt here. Okay, and then pull out the bottom piece. Okay, hopefully I have enough light going on here. All right, so now I've already undone them, but the wires are here. They're both white and they connect to here and here. And all you do is unscrew them, the little cap, pull the wire off. Now, I did not disconnect my electric. I recommend that you do shut off the electric in your panel um, if you're not familiar with electric, but what I did was uh, I unscrewed one Pulled the wires apart, put the cap back on, unscrew the other, put, put the cap back on. That way they can't touch each other and there's never going to be a problem. Okay, so now this is disconnected. All right, then there's two bolts right here. One and two. And then keep this tube from moving around. Not like your stove goes anywhere, but... Okay, so you undo those two bolts, undo these two wires... And then, I've already done it, but this this will pop right out, and you literally just pull it right out of there. Okay, pulls right out. Um, I'm just keeping mine in there just because it makes me feel better working with gas, even though it ain't going to do anything. So I disconnected, I pulled that out. Now, this had two bolts connecting it to here, and I've already taken them off. So now, all you got to do is look up your model number. And you can order it. We're just going to order ours off of Amazon because uh, it's a little bit cheaper and, you know, we can cook on the stove top for one day. That's the other reason I know that it's not the entire stove is because the rest of the stove still lights. Okay. So, now what you can do if you need a stove really bad, if you're a person who does not use your broiler, on the top here is your broiler igniter. Mine's not here. It's already been used. It's probably the one that I'm pulling out right now. So what happens is when you turn your oven on, this is all your heat. Okay, and you turn your broiler on and they both go. That's how you get all the extra heat. Okay, your igniter for your broiler would be right here. I don't have one, which means somebody has already taken it and putting it down here, which is probably this one which is probably why these wires are so short, because uh, from what I understand, uh, <clears throat> when you have them on the top here, they come with a little wire harness, and all you do is plug it in in the back of the stove. So if your broiler, if your boiler's not working, boiler, broiler is not working, pull your stove out. Behind the back there is a little panel, pull the panel off, and then you can disconnect that, okay? And then if you want, now you see they're both white wires, so it doesn't matter which one goes to which wire. You can take this one off the top and you can put it on the bottom for an emergency. Um, if I had one on the top, I would have left it there. I would have just ordered one anyway, but if you're in a tight squeeze, you can pull the top one off and put it on the bottom. But just be aware that when you cut the wire, the harness off the wire, it is a shorter wire for the bottom one. I mean, I'm sorry, for the top one. So just be sure that you don't cut the wire too short. But that will get you through the day. So then, obviously, putting it back together is the exact opposite. Be very careful with the electric. I, like I said, I recommend you turn off the fuse box. But besides that, it's very simple. Um, I'll show you once again from the bottom here. Okay. All this does just slips right out of there. Right? I pulled it right out of the top. See, and it's just sitting there. And that gas cannot turn on until a signal sends from that igniter. 
my igniter is not working so I do not have to worry about gas coming into my house so I can wait a day to get a new igniter I hope this helped you if you have any questions put them in the comments